everyone. Myself N. Uday Ranjan Gaud, working as assistant professor in aeronautical department, MLR Institute of Technology. So, today we are going to see aero aerospace vehicle structures subject and uh, in this we have a topic called shear of open section beams. Now, after all learning about bending of beams and uh, after all solving on the problems on bending of the beams. So, today here we are going to discuss shear of open section beams. Now, so if you look at it, the shear flow, so shearing action that means the forces that are parallel to the surface. Now, shear flow, there is a difference between shear force and shear, uh, shear force as well as shear flow. So, the shear flow is defined as shear force per intensity. So, the shear force. So, the shear flow is defined as shear force per intensity. So, usually the shear flow is given by symbol Q and it is nothing but simply shear force upon intensity. So, any intensity or in other words, we can define it as shear force per unit length. Now, here, so shear flow, when it comes to shear flow, usually in aircraft structures, we will be having open sections as well as closed sections. So, first let us go with the open sections. And uh, to consider the open section, we can consider any of the arbitrary section that is shown over here. So, any arbitrary section we are selecting and uh, once we go with the open section, we can extend the same concept to even the closed section as well. Now, if you look at that, this open section beam, clearly if you see the diagram, so this is an open section, arbitrary section and which we considered and you can see the loads that are acting. So, Sx is the horizontal shear load and Sy is the vertical shear load and also you can see the axis system x, y and z axis system that are placed in this diagram. Now, if you look at that, the diagram, we are seeing uh, thick dots over here, this place, this place and this place. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. Now, these dots are nothing but we call them as booms. So, this is very, very important in aircraft structures, especially in when we consider shear of open section beams or closed section beams, the, to know about these booms. Now, what are these booms? So, booms are nothing but the concentrations of areas. So, for example, if you look at, at the diagram here, a boom is placed here. Now, whatever the panel we are considering here on the skin of the any open section beam. So, whatever the area that is placed over here, now that can be removed and replaced by a single point on the cross section. For example, if it is having the front view, if you have a section like this, then the concentrations of the area, whatever we are considering this area, now this can be removed and replaced by a dot and that can be shown over here like this. So, this is nothing but the boom. Now, the boom will have area and we need to calculate the boom area. Sometimes the boom area will be given directly and if it is not given, we have to calculate the boom area by the formula that is nothing but what? Td into b by 6 into sigma 2 by sigma 1 plus 1. So, this is the formula which we have to use for calculating of the boom area. But in most of the problems, uh, whatever we encounter, the boom areas will be given. So, this is the open section beam. Now, let us take such a panel, such a concentration of area and then we are taking separately over here and we are trying to represent the shear flows that are acting in this particular diagram. Now, let us consider Q1 is the shear flow and uh, on the other side Q2 is the shear flow. So, these two shear flows you can see clearly that they act tangentially on the surface of the boom. So, also let us consider sigma z is the direct stress that is acting and on the other end sigma z plus dou sigma z by dou, dou z into delta z is the incremental in the stress. So, after calculating, after knowing this diagram, let us move on to this one. And let us consider thickness as T and which refers to the direct strength, uh, we usually call it as thickness of the skin and that is given by symbol TD. Okay. So, now, now the shear flow equation, now the shear flow equation is given by QS equals to minus of SX into IXX minus SY into IXY divided by IXX into IYY minus I square XY integral 0 to S. Td into xds minus sy into iyy 
minus s x into i x y divided by i x x i y y minus i square x y integral 0 to s t d into y d s. Now, this is the shear flow. So, now here we are getting integral because we have the panel. So, when you have the booms, so between the booms, when you consider, so and if the booms are not there, then we have to use integral. Now, if the booms are there, instead of this uh, formula integral, we can use integral instead of this, we can use summation br into xr. So, br into xr. So, this is the shear flow equation which we derived in the previous class. Now, since we are encountering with the booms and now this integral will be replaced by summation br xr. So, this one will be replaced and written as summation br into xr and this integral will be replaced by summation br into uh, yr. So, this is the shear flow distribution and uh, in which Td equals to T and if the skin is fully effective in carrying the direct stresses or T equal to 0 and if the skin is assumed to carry only the shear stresses. And next here and when you consider any boom uh, any rth boom in the elemental length of the beam as shown in the figure and also we considered sx and sy are the horizontal vertical horizontal load and vertical load which are acting through shear center now this shear center is s is very very important now how it is defined the shear center is defined as a point in the cross section about which there exists no twist so that means we consider a point and in which there exists no twist and that point is considered as shear center. So, whatever the loads that we apply, we assume that all the loads are acting through the shear center of the section. Now, the shear loads usually what they produce, they produce as direct stresses due to bending in the booms and uh, also uh, shear stresses in the skin. So, now here, if the shear flows in the adjacent skin, uh, to the rth boom of the cross sectional area br and r q1 and q2 then from figure b and if you look at, at the figure and we are just considering the equilibrium so equilibrium along the length of the boom so when you consider that equilibrium so we are going to get sigma z plus dou sigma z by dou z into delta z which is stress and it should be multiplied by the boom area uh, for example if you are considering rth boom then we can multiply with this respective area and that area will be given by br and similarly on the other hand on the other direction you can take the negative so if you look at, at the diagram so sigma z plus dou sigma z by dou z into we have to write multiply with the area to convert into force now if you consider treating this as positive force then the other side you can consider it as negative and where the stress is sigma z so sigma z into again the area is br so that is how we have to consider the force equilibrium now coming to here so after considering the stresses in the force equilibrium now we have to look for the shear flows so as we discussed earlier the shear flow is nothing but the shear force intensity or shear force per unit length so here we have two shear flows one is q1 and one is q2 and according to that sign convention we considered q2 will be in positive direction and whereas q1 will be in negative direction so now we have to multiply this q2 with respective length on which it is acting and also q1 with respective length on which it is acting now the length here we consider it as delta z so q2 should be multiplied with the delta z to convert into force and also q1 also should be multiplied with the length delta z to convert it into force now if you write all these things in an equation form so you get q2 into delta z minus q1 into delta z equal to 0 now this equation and uh, simplifies to q2 minus q1 is equals to minus dou sigma z by dou z into br now from here we have to substitute because sigma z is nothing but what direct stress due to unsymmetrical bending now we have the formula for sigma z so what is that formula my into ixx minus mx into ixy divided by ixx iyy minus i square xy into x plus my mx iyy minus my ixy so sigma z that is equals to my ixx minus mx ixy 
डिवाइडेड बाई आई एक्स एक्स आई वाई वाई माइनस आई स्क्वेर एक्स वाई ऑफ एक्स प्लस देन एम एक्स आई वाई वाई माइनस एम वाई आई एक्स वाई डिवाइडेड बाई आई एक्स एक्स आई वाई वाई माइनस आई स्क्वेर एक्स वाई इन टू वाई सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द फॉर्मुला फॉर डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ड्यू टू अनसिमेट्रिकल बेंडिंग नाउ इन प्लेस ऑफ सिग्मा जेड वी नीड टू सब्सिट्यूट वट एवर वी हैव हियर नाउ आफ्टर सब्सिट्यूटिंग हियर वट एवर द सिग्मा जेड वी नीड टू डिफरेंशिएट विद रेस्पेक्ट टू जेड एंड वेन यू डिफरेंशिएट यू कैन सी हियर फर्स्ट एम वाई विल बी डिफरेंशिएटेड विद रेस्पेक्ट टू जेड सो यू कैन राइट डो एम वाई बाई डो जेड देन सिमिलरली डो एम एक्स बाई डो जेड एंड सिमिलरली हियर डो एम एक्स बाई डो जेड एंड डो एम वाई बाई डो जेड नाउ वी नो दैट the rate of change of bending moment is nothing but shear force so therefore the differentiation of my with respect to z is going to give horizontal shear load that is nothing but sx similarly the bending moment with respect to z that is do mx by do z is going to give sy now by replacing here sy and here it is sx so by replacing all these things sx into ixx minus sy into ixy so by replacing the bending moment rate of change of bending moment as shear force and we rewrite that equation as q2 minus q1 equals to minus of sx into ixx minus sy into ixy divided by ixx iyy minus i square xy into br xr minus minus of minus sy by into iyy Minus S X into I X Y divided by I X X I Y Y minus I square X Y into B R Y R. So this is nothing but the shear flow distribution in an open section beam. So the above equation tells you the change in shear flow induced in a boom, which itself is subjected to in a direct load. And each time when a boom is encountered, the shear flow incremented by this amount. So that if if you consider any distance or as at any distance s around the profile of the section and when you have more number of booms then this can be written in the generalized form as the shear flow at any point is given by qs equals to minus of sx ixx minus sy ixy divided by ixx iyy minus i square xy into integral 0 to s td into xds plus summation r equal to 1 to n br xr minus एस वाई आई वाई वाई माइनस एस एक्स आई एक्स वाई डिवाइडेड बाई आई एक्स एक्स आई वाई वाई माइनस आई स्क्वेर एक्स वाई इंटू इंटीग्रल जीरो टू एस टी डी इंटू वाई डी एस प्लस समेशन ऑफ आर इक्वल टू वन टू इन एन बी आर वाई आर नाउ दिस इज अ जनरल फॉर्मुला फॉर शेयर फ्लो एट एनी पॉइंट इन द सेक्शन फॉर ओपन सेक्शन बीम्स नाउ इफ यू इफ द इन द प्रॉब्लम if we mention that बूम्स आर कैरिंग ओनली डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेसेस एंड पैनल्स आर कैरिंग द शेयर देन if the panels are not carrying any kind of uh, direct stresses we can just omit these two and rewrite the equation only for the booms as only with the summation so that is what we need to understand because it is a generalized formula that is given for both panels as well as booms so if the problem is mentioned only about the booms that are carrying direct direct stresses then you can consider by omitting the integrals you can just consider these two summations in this formula so this is a formula for shear flow at the point so even that even the thickness of the skin also if it is zero if you mention that zero then also the integral containing term can be substituted to zero so now here uh, one more thing we need to observe here uh, now we are speaking about open section beams now what is the change that we will see for the closed section beams is nothing but and closed section beam looks any any uh, geometrical cross section you can consider so open section beam is the determinate problem whereas the closed section beam is the indeterminate problem so therefore what you need to do is you need to make a cut somewhere here to make it open and you need to calculate the rest of the open section shear flow and after adding that you, since we are making a cut if you have, the cut is not made there would have been some shear flow in this in this wall also so let that be q s not which we call it as additional constant shear flow so this additional constant shear flow must be added to the open section shear flow like this q s not and when you add this q s not we call this as formula for the closed section shear flow so the entire formula from here to here we can consider as qb open section formula so this is q s not that is the 
additional constant shear flow that exist during the closed section. So, in other words, we can write for general open and closed section together QS equals to QB plus QS naught. So, if the section is open, Q, you can substitute Q, QS naught as 0. If the section is not open, you can just add QS naught. So, this formula holds good for both open and closed sections. So, that is it from today's class. Let us continue in the next class. Thank you.